Whoa! Welcome! 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 I'm doing the robot. Welcome! I'm doing the robot. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Wrestle Cram! This is your boy, your host, with the most, but humble, and I do mean humble, D. Nostra Novice, a.k.a. Derek, and it is Friday, and of course we have SmackDown 2, review, 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 um, <laughs> I will say this, it was a very interesting uh, SmackDown, um, we had to get it due to what's going on all over the news of WWE, but um, it was a very um, fulfilling, a very filling uh, SmackDown. I will say this was one, probably one of the better SmackDowns I've seen in a very long time. Um, but before we get into that, I want to thank y'all so much for allowing me to be a part of your day. Goodness gracious. I mean, time I know is very precious. And I, I, ju I just thank y'all. I thank y'all so much for staying with me, staying with the, staying with this ship, that this crazy ship I call a uh, Wrestle Cram. Uh, but uh, let's 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 do a couple more things, and then we'll get to the review. <laughs> um, if you like the show, go ahead and give me a like. Get that thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up. If you think the thumbs up uh, is just uh, just a little bit, and you need a little bit more to give me. Uh, go ahead and hit the sub. Go hit that sub for me. Hit the sub. It's okay. I'm not even going to look. See, I'm not going to look. Did you do it? Okay. So, if you did it, if you did that, and you want to give me something a little bit more, you know, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Um, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I do five shows every single week. And, of course, this is one of those shows that I do. Um, I, rec I do every review, and I... Send it to y'all, free of charge, and, you know, I'm not even asking for money. I'm not. Just watch the show. You know, I, I, I think I think my enjoyment is y'all watching it and making me feel happy. How about that? I know I'm doing better. <laughs> so, um, my birthday was yesterday. Oh, I got a couple of things. I got a couple of things. I was very happy. Um, so, um, if you don't know, one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters, well, my favorite Marvel character is... Um, Captain America. I couldn't find a cheap Captain America because apparently Captain Americas are very, very expensive. So, I got this. I got uh, the Sorceress uh, Supreme Captain America pop. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was pretty nice. I got that uh, from, from one of the uh, local uh, comic book shops uh, here in the city. I just treated myself to something. Um, but uh, people are asking, Derek, what, what, what did you do for your birthday? You really want to know what I did for my birthday? <laughs> I rested. I did a lot of resting. I promise you. I, I ate some some uh, crawfish etouffee. And um, I got some cupcakes. And after that, I laid down for pretty much most of the... Pretty much most of the day. Um, I I did my, uh, my two cents in the morning. I do my, my personal shows in the morning. Um, to get those out of the way and have those uploaded for y'all in the morning. Um, so I got that done like early in the morning and, you know, after that I rested, I rested. That was the present to me that I wanted to give myself was just rest. There's nothing wrong with rest because your body will tell you that it's time to stop. And if you still don't stop, trust me, your body going to tell you, it's going to stop it for you, regardless of the situation. It's going to stop it for you. So I got some rest. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, thank y'all uh, for your uh, birthday wishes as well. Um, and that, that's it. That's it. You know, um, next week and the week after, we're going to have a lot of stuff that's going on. We have the Forbidden Door next week. We also, at the week after that, we should have... Uh, money in the bank so i will be pushing out predictions for those and on sundays i will have the um and on sundays i will have the uh reviews uh wrapped up with that as well uh it's a lot of stuff going on so i will be busy 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 um, other than that how are y'all doing how you doing how you doing hopefully y'all doing great um i'm doing fine as well but let's it's, it's almost five minutes in 
haven't said anything about SmackDown. Well, other than it was, it was, it was good. It wasn't bad. It was not bad at all. It was a really good show. Really good show. I enjoyed it times twelve. <laughs> it, it it started off with uh, Mr. McMahon coming out and just saying "Welcome to SmackDown" and uh, talking about that you know here we're here forever you know all that jazz because. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, you guys. Uh, a lot of stuff is going on. I guess he wanted to get in the front of it to, you know, uh, just announce SmackDown. Um, after that, we get a Riddle comes out. Riddle comes out with a promo, and he is just very passionate. It was a great promo, but the promo was underwhelming due to the fact that, you know, he said, let's look at the Di Titra. And it showed the history of between Riddle and and um, Roman Reigns. <coughs> I was like, okay, so the promo was good, but you give us a video package. They are so obsessed with these video packages, it makes no sense to me. I'm so tired of these video packages. But, I mean, I have to, it is what it is. Um, of course, he dedicated it, uh, he dedicated his, a match to Randy Orton. We might not even get Randy Orton anymore due to the fact that his back is really, really bad. Uh, apparently, they're going to do surgery on him. This is true. This is not a work, you guys. Um, so, um, yeah, his back is really bad. Uh, he's been doing it for 20 plus years. So, goodness gracious. We wish you all the best. Hopefully, you come. I mean, not even coming back. We just hope that you have a successful rest of your life. You know, with you know, with with pain free or whatnot. Goodness gracious, it's crazy. So uh, after that, we got um, a video package, um, of course, another video package uh, between uh, Corbin, Happy Corbin, and Matt Cap Moss. They're gonna have a last match today, which is called the Last Laugh Match. Pretty much a, a standard match. They just called it the last laugh match because I guess they were both happy. Um, this was a okay match. I don't know if Matt Cat Moss used to be a collegiate uh, football player. I'm gonna have to look that up. But a lot of his moves are consist of like a lot of shoulder tackles. Um, he's a very powerful person, so he's more of a grappler than anything. Um, the match was okay. I really thought that uh, Happy Corbin would get that win, but Mad Cat Moss literally won every single match they fought. Uh, I mean, and of course he won this one as well. Uh, he won with two of the uh, his special, which is called the Punchline. He did two of them back to back, and he got after he won, won, he got on the mic and just said, "I won, ha 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 ha." That's it. So he's a, I mean, he's a really buff, chiseled joker, apparently. Uh, I guess. I don't know. So, after that, we get a Street Profits promo. And they are raw. They're raw. Why are they on SmackDown? So they were just talking about, you know, all the matches that, uh, the matches that happened, the matches coming up. You know, they're putting a lot of emphasis on the, um... Riddle and Roman Reigns, and of course they're talking about their up and coming match, which they have announced today that they are facing the Usos at Money in the Bank. They could have said that on Raw, but I still don't get why they were there. They're 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 on Raw. This, this is SmackDown, so I digress. I digress. Um, after that, um, apparently Happy Corbin was still in the ring, so he was. Truly upset about Pat, Pat, Pat McAfee calling him a bum, a bum ass dude. You know, even when he was uh, got money, he still called him a piece of crap and all this. And uh, Pat and uh, Pat McAfee apparently was there to rally the troops because they are in Wisconsin, and um, and uh, they, you know, they did their little thing or whatnot that they rally a, around. I don't know, but you know. Um, they, they did that, all that stuff, and they laughed, literally laughed, uh, Happy Corbin out of the ring, out of the arena, out of the arena, and out comes, um, the New Day, which was laughing as well, just pointing and laughing, so he's, I, I don't know, 
I don't know. I'm tired of the happy. Hopefully, we get rid of the happy Corbin. Um, that that stupid gimmick. We get the actual real, um, you know, gimmick of the the long wolf. We'll get that one back. Um, after that, we get a video package of Ronda being attacked by the number one contender, um, Natalia. We get a Natalia um, uh, promo after that saying that uh, the sharpshooter will destroy body parts, which it does. Um, it is a it is a very great finisher. I uh, truly, uh, Bret Hart is in my Mount Rushmore of greatest wrestlers, and that special is in my top ten uh, greatest finishers of all time. And she was just talking about that she's going to be the very first person to make Ronda Rousey tap. I doubt that seriously, but who cares? Anyway, we get a New Day match. New Day versus Shanky and Jinder Mahal. We have two world champions in the ring at the same time, which is um, we have um, uh, Kofi Kingston, and of course we have Jinder Mahal, both world champions. Um, it was a very weird match because apparently uh, every time that Shanky hears music, he dances. So what happened was that Xavier got on his trombone and started uh, playing music and Shanky started dancing. Um, so um, gen he, he gets closer to gender. Gender taps, tags himself in. Uh, he gets put in the trouble in paradise while Shanky is distracted with dancing and they win. Um, they run out of the ring um, Shanky and Jenna Mahal tries to go behind them, but, um, Xavier does more trombone music and he starts to, he starts to dance again. Extremely lost behind that, but okay. Uh, I, I'm not feeling that at all. I'm like, it's just, it's weird to me. Um, <laughs> after that, we get a promo of the most uncool tag teams in a very long time. Uh, the Viking Raiders are coming back. Yay. They were trash. Why are they still here? I guess. After that, we get a uh, very mellow Drew McIntyre and Sheamus into the ring. Who will go on to face everybody else in the main event of the males um, Money in the Bank? Uh, he uh, Adam Pierce did say that Sheamus, you are in the uh, match. They start fighting because Drew McIntyre is upset. He said beforehand that if I'm not chosen, I'm going to beat somebody up. But uh, Adam Pierce uh, informed him before you, you struck him, you are in there as well. So uh, as of right now, we have Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Seth freaking Rollins on the male side of the um the money in the bank ladder match uh that's going to be in that match uh, after that we get a Sami Zayn uh promo Sami was actually about to knock on the door of Roman Reigns uh he does not do that as a matter of fact uh the lady that was coming to uh, uh interview him was was continuously saying it pretty loud like it's your fault why he has to face um uh, riddle and he was like well he never knocked on the door he said I gotta go to the bathroom so he leaves uh, we will have a qualifying match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn next week we'll see who wins out of that hopefully it's Sammy. I love Sammy. Uh, after that we get a uh, women's money in the bank qualifier um, Raquel Rodriguez versus Shayna Baszler uh, it was a very quick match. Uh, I'm really starting to not like how they're jobbing out Shayna Baszler. Uh, Shayna Baszler is a world champion in MMA and has not even sniffed the title scene yet. Uh, she has multiple champions on NXT. I am so lost that Raquel Rodriguez did win. Um, they also had <laughs> Lacey Evans on commentary. And they're still talking about, oh, you're so brave and, you know, I love America and all of this. It's just, 
The Lacey Evans is is this just the character is so bad. I'm sorry, it's just so bad. But I digress. After that, we get a uh, well. Let me let me let you know who's in the women's uh right now. The women's uh Money in the Bank ladder match as of right now is Lacey Evans. You have Liv Morgan. You have um Raquel Rodriguez. And um, the other little girl, the girl that the oh my god, oh uh, oh my oh my head hurts. Um, um, my my little boo, I forgot her name. Um, her, <laughs> she she's in it as well. Uh, those are the women that are in the money in the bank uh, as well. I will I will figure it out when my brain is is just going through so much because I have so much to uh to talk about on the dirt she roundup. It is crazy it's gonna be a very long dirt sheet roundup just like uh my two cent this this go around um after that we get a um we get a uh max dupree max dupree we get a max dupree uh promo but he was supposed to trot out his uh his males at the uh maximum male modeling um he was truly upset because the lighting was off so he was not going to uh, bring his uh, his titillating raw juices out uh, because the lighting was bad. He was upset with Adam Pierce, and we did not get that. So we're uh, so we're gonna wait until go around. The, he said, "Y'all get it right, or the contract is null and void, and I get paid for it." So um, we're we're hopefully we'll get it. You know, which is three weeks now. Hopefully next week we will get something you know, that will allow us to see what's going on with this new faction. Um, after that, we get a, uh, we get the Gunther and Ricochet match from last week. Um, how Gunther won, he won clean, so he is the Intercontinental Champion. Um, after that, we get a promo where he's talking, up. he does a, he does an anti-American, uh, promo where, he talks about, you know, uh, the Intercontinental Champion, which is true. It's for, you know, members outside of America. So you're supposed to have those people um, in those matches. I mean, in, uh, you know, defending that belt. Gunther is from Germany, so, I mean, it makes perfect sense. I mean, he's just talking about, you know, that he doesn't want anybody that's American to have their greasy paws on it, and he's going to be a long-reigning champion. I guarantee he is. I mean, Gunther is he's one of the longest reigning heavyweight champions in uh, modern day WWE history, for crying out loud. <laughs> After, but we will get a uh, rematch. We'll get a rematch um, next Friday for that belt. Ricochet has, uh, I guess, uh, issued his uh, rematch clause. I think they still have that. Do they still have that comment? Let me know if they still have a rematch clause or whatnot. Um, after that, we get the, uh, Roman Reigns versus, uh, we got the Roman Reigns versus Riddle match. Um, it was, it was a typical Roman Reigns match, but I will say this, um, it had a little twist to it because, uh, you know, Riddle's very still upset behind, you know, what's going on with, uh, Randy Orton. So, <coughs> sorry, at the beginning of this match, uh, Riddle got, gave a lot of offense a ton of offense. Um, but Roman did win clean. I will say that. He did win clean. It was a very decent match. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not a fan of heel Roman uh, going so long. I, the, the match was a little too long for my taste. Um, Riddle did do a beautiful out of the out of nowhere um, RKO and almost won the match. Um, after that, he goes up for a bro Derek, uh, pins him again, no go. Uh, uh, he gets on a springboard and tries to do the floating bro, but Roman catches him with the spear. One, two, three, Roman wins. Um, I saw Paul Heyman with a, uh, mic. So, uh, Roman gets on the mic and tells everybody to acknowledge him. And he told him, he's like, we we beaten everybody. Everybody's done. We're done. 
I mean, I've, I've done this. I've smashed. I've done that. I smashed. I've beaten everybody. It's nobody else to beat. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. My throat is very dry. Sorry. <laughs> Pause. Anyway, um, but out comes <laughs> Brock Lesnar from a vacation, from well, a very long vacation. He comes into the ring. He tries to give um, Roman a handshake, but instead he gives him an F5. He also gives F5s to both of the Usos and fade to black. So apparently the next challenger is going to be Brock Lesnar again. There's pretty much no other faces left. So that's, <laughs> they had to call him out. Hey, hey, you want some money? <laughs> that's kind of how it works. You know, uh, he said he likes doing it. He's going to keep doing it until his body lets him do it. But, I mean, hey, if they trot you out there and say, hey, you want some money, of course I'm going to come out there and I'm going to get some money. You're damn right. So we have the next opponent. It's going to be Brock Lesnar. Of course, he's going to lose as well. Because he has to face Drew McIntyre uh, in Europe. So, of course, we know he's going to lose as well. I don't know when they're going to fight because uh, he's not obligated to wrestle on Money in the Bank, which I think that probably, it looks like it probably has changed. Uh, but other than that, y'all, I mean, I uh, love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for allowing me to be here uh, and being and grace y'all with, with the presence that I have. Um like, share, subscribe, um, send this out to the masses, you know, uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, um, I got some news coming down the, uh, down the pipeline, um, but that's, uh, in a, in the, in the future, I'm gonna talk about it a little later in about a couple of weeks, I'm gonna see what I can do when my money gets right, but, uh, hopefully I will get something on Tuesday and I will show y'all what it's gonna be eventually. Um, tomorrow we have, um, Dirt Sheet Roundup, where I will talk about all the crazy stuff that happened this week, a lot of it, uh, also, um, Rampage is later on today, so y'all, uh, sit back, relax, we'll have Rampage, I'll have Rampage out, uploaded for you as well, until then, love, peace, and of course, wrestling.